I didn't mean to frighten you prematurely. <laughs> the real chills come later. Now, as they say, look alive, and we'll continue our little tour. And let's all stay together, please. All our ghosts have been dying to meet you. This one can hardly contain himself. <laughs> Unfortunately, they all seem to have trouble getting through. So this is a three-axis skull uh, and a board that we built based on Arduino and it also has a DF mini player that plays as many files as you want. It can play thousands of different files. Uh, you can hear it's it's got a ambient music or ambient sound that'll play whenever it's in just standby mode. Then it's got this PIR trigger here and if I move it'll trigger and he'll start talking He'll say any, uh, he randomly goes through all of the talking things. The other thing is it's got, uh, it can control up to five servos, four of which will move just randomly. And it has this slow random. So they move quickly and then slow down on the movements. So they kind of more realistically move. Oh, right now he's just decided to take a break. There he goes, he's moving. Um, it will, the movements are random. So the timing is random and how far it moves, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You can set all that in the code as to how f to the limits at which the servos will move, so you don't blow out your servos or anything or mess up the puppet. Um, this is just a quickie mock-up to show how it works. So if I move in front of the PIR sensor even a little, he'll uh, the ambient music will stop or ambient sound will stop, and it will start playing one of the I think there's like 70 random uh, voice tracks that it has on there, and the jaw will move along in sync with any voice track, because that's what these these LEDs are indicating. The low sound and the high sound is in the blue. Um, so normally, obviously, this would be covered up, so you won't have the reflection of all these lights uh, and stuff because this can go basically anywhere. It's fairly small. It's about the size of maybe a credit card um, Plus the width of you know the Arduino and these things on top But it will fit kind of behind or inside any puppet. This could actually fit inside the skull uh, And it would be no problem to do that from there So I will now These grim move. grinning ghosts are tagging along determined to establish a permanent alliance with a favored mortal. Well, if you should decide to join us, final arrangements may be made at the end of the tour. A charming ghostess will be on hand to take your application. The happy haunts have received your sympathetic vibrations and are beginning to materialize for a swinging wake and they'll be expecting me. See you all a little later. The timing of the movements is completely random. I can time it however I want and have it move uh, the different servos are going to randomize but you can set the amount of time between so you can see the uh, head turn is much more frequent than the tilt or the nod and that's on purpose but every time I move it will trigger your cadaverous pallor betrays an aura of foreboding almost as though you sense a disquieting metamorphosis The board and all the servos are powered from a single uh, 5 volt in with, uh, um, I think it's a 2 amp 5 volt input. However, you can also set it to have, if you do the external, so you can have it working with just the 5 volts from the, uh, 
the Arduino. We'll work everything on the board except the servos, and then you can have the servos powered by an outside power source. So I don't have those hooked up right now, but they're there, and you can just solder in whatever you want. It also does uh, a blinking LED, so the LED light will light up in whatever sequence you want. You can have it blinking random, so the LEDs will light up and then go dim and then light up again depending on uh, how you set the random, or you can have it just on or completely off, either way. Uh, you can set all those things. So this is just an introduction to our board, um, and I thought it was high time I showed everybody what I've been doing over the past two years. I've been um, developing this uh, talking skull for a while. This particular thing is just a mock-up. This uh, skull will eventually be put onto a skeleton that'll be uh, gesticulating with his arms and everything else uh, with these five servos. So it's going to have, currently, it's going to have the three axis plus the jaw, and then it will also be able to gesticulate with one, two arms or do its body or whatever we want. We've got another version that we're building that will have up to 10 servos powered by this board. Um, and have all kinds of other connectivity and stuff like that. But this is our first board, so uh, let me know what you think. So I hope you like this. This is uh, a labor of love. It's been a lot of work uh, doing the software and, of course, the hardware, doing the board and everything was very difficult. Uh, everybody was saying that we can't make uh, an Arduino do five different servos simultaneously doing different things. That's not true. So uh, for the people who came before us and came up with a lot of these ideas, including Kenny Chapman, who came up with the Jodwino idea and was working on this kind of stuff, and we kind of took it and ran with it. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if there's any interest in these boards or anything else, we're trying to put a kit together, but um, let me know down in the comments and maybe we can figure something out. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to move and let him talk us out. And... Uh, have a good one, and please uh, like, subscribe, and, and DM me in the comments on what you think of this. And now, a carriage approaches to take you into the boundless realm of the supernatural. Take your loved ones by the hand, please, and kindly watch your step.